Welcome to the show. You know, there are a lot of myths about going to the chiropractor, along with a lot of benefits. Our first guest today is Dr. Ronnie Bolar. He is a certified chiropractor, and he is on a mission to create a legacy of good health through a holistic and natural approach to medical care, and says that starts with understanding what board certified chiropractors actually do and how it can help. Please welcome Dr. Bolar to the show. Thank you so much. Hey, Doc. Me. How you doing? I'm excellent. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to have you here. I know that this is a real passion for you in terms of getting people to understand what chiropractors do and how. Right. But yes. first, I want to talk about how you ended up doing this, because this is a different kind of care. What is it and why do you do it? Well, I actually started off in massage therapy. Mm. So I did that for over 10 years. And what ended up happening was the people that I was seeing, they were actually wanting more. Mm -hmm. They were saying, hey, I'm having this issue. I'm having that issue. They're mm -hmm. having all these other health concerns that were a little bit over my head. Okay. So I decided I wanted to look in and see what else was there that I could do. What, something that was natural, something yeah. that could help them with their bodies that was a little bit past what I was already doing. Mm -hmm. So I went and visited Life University and I checked them out um, in Marietta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. And I realized that this is something that's a little bit different. I still get to use my hands because I really like something hands on. Yeah. And I wanted something natural, something holistic and some that didn't involve like blood or anything right. like that. You weren't trying so. to be that kind of doctor. No, 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 <laughs> not at all. But the natural component was really important to you. Why? Why was the, the concept of doing this hands on without the invasive procedures and medicine so important? It was it was important to me because I understood how important the power of touch is mm. and our bodies respond to touch in a positive way. Mm. So after doing massage for so long and seeing how many people got better and it helped them in many different areas of their lives, even emotionally, yeah. I was like, well, let me see what is the next step? Is there something else that I can do? And I really just wanted to educate myself more. And that's when I found out about chiropractic and realized, oh, this really gets to the root cause of issues and it's still a natural approach. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to understand and you are still a doctor. Yes. Like some people I think think, oh, they're not a real doctor. No, this is years of training, yes. right? Yes. And Life University, actually one of the top chiropractic uh, facilities and institutions in the country, right? So this was Absolutely. a big deal for you to be able to learn here. Um, let's talk about just a little bit of history because I was uh, curious to hear the first chiropractic procedure, treatment, adjustment, if you would, mm -hmm. was on a black man more than 100 years ago. Yes, yes. Back in 1895, um, Dr. D.D. Palmer, um, he actually performed the first chiropractic adjustment on a man named Harvey Lillard. Mm -hmm. um, Harvey Lillard, a black man, was actually a janitor in Dr. Palmer's uh, building, and he had been complaining of a neck issue, some neck pain, mm -hmm. and he had actually lost his hearing in one of his ears. Mm -hmm. This was in Iowa, right? Yes. Yes, this was an right. Wow. Yes. So there's a long history yes, to chiropractic care. Now let's get into it. Let's get into these adjustments. What is it that's happening when you're doing all that popping and cracking, right? That's mm -hmm. what people associate with it. But you say there's a lot more to it. Yes. Yes. So what happens is when our bodies get out of alignment, mm -hmm. what the chiropractor does is they find those areas, areas of misalignment and they just gently realign that spine. Now, what you're talking about is some people hear a popping or a cracking sound. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's like a gas release from in between those joints. Really? Yes, yes. Why is it so loud? It's so loud because our bodies really get out of whack. So a lot of mm -hmm. times when we are realigning the body, sometimes we hear this even when we're just stretching. That but, is true. Mm -hmm. That morning stretch, that just made a whole lot of sense. That mm -hmm. morning stretch, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And so um, there are people who think if you're not, if it's not audible, that mm -hmm. it's not working, but you say that's not the case. No, that's not the case. Um, the audible sounds do happen a lot, mm -hmm. and a lot of people actually come looking for that, mm -hmm. but just because you don't hear it doesn't mean that the adjustment hasn't actually happened. Gotcha, and I know you brought some pictures, right? Yes. Um, a good, strong, healthy back, and a back that could use some work. Mm -hmm. And a neck, actually, that looks like a very familiar <laughs> neck. Let's talk about this neck, good mm -hmm. and bad. Yes. So what we see here on the left is that's a bad neck. So that neck should actually be curved where that yellow line is. Mm -hmm. That yellow line shows where the normal neck curve should be. So there's the be. straight line. The curve is where is what should be happening. Yes, right? that's where the front of the neck should be because those are all the neck bones right there. Mm -hmm. So you see on the right, this one, the good neck, 
those bones are touching that curved line, that person's in proper alignment. But that bad one on the left, that person's had some issues. Yes. They've yes. had some problems. Yes, she has had some issues. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about what we see here in terms of the curve and the lower back here that we see. Yes. So what we're seeing here is on the left, we see someone with a lower back that has a curve actually in the spine there. Mm -hmm. um, that, it, that is definitely a bad back. They have lower back pain. They have other issues. And this is something depending on the age that we can address and we can help them relieve some of the tension, the pain, and some of the issues that come from that. And let's talk about some of the other things um, these x-ray images will tell you about a person. Sometimes you can see if somebody has had um, an accident, a crash years yes. ago or some other kind of physical trauma. What is it about the imagery that you all are able to see that uh, reveals that? Yes, a lot of times in these x-rays, what we see, we'll see signs of arthritis and degeneration. We'll see signs of trauma. And a lot of times people think, oh, well, I just had an accident. So that makes sense. And we tell them mm -hmm. this is actually multiple years old. So this is actually not even from the accident, but the accident actually made this worse. Mm -hmm. So we can actually see that on your x-rays, which is why it's so important to take them. So when people come in and say, oh, my numbness, tingling and this, all of this, mm -hmm. those are things that you can literally see where in the imaging on the spine, what the source is? Yes, we can actually see a contributing factor to those things and mm -hmm. we use some other tests also but we uh, know that those are contributing factors mm -hmm. and I know that. you have also pointed out it's important to have conversations with your physician a whole yes. body you know conversation mm -hmm. with healthcare practitioners but your point is there's some things that you guys can do to help as well right absolutely we definitely need to be part of the team yes indeed all right that part of the team conversation continues coming up you're going to meet Miss Wangali Waller she says lower back pain and aches in her neck were so troublesome, she decided to go to a chiropractor. You see, she's looking great now. So how's that treatment going? You're going to find out when we return. And then later, it looks so intimidating for some folks, right? And painful for others, but that's the move right there, right there. That's the one that makes people go, what is about to happen? Oh, but Doc says, no need to be afraid and it's an option to look at a way to confront your pain. We're gonna talk about this and you'll see more when we return.